Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Uh, you gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing to my wife. His face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So no. I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, hmm? told, I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. 
I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, around the corner from your house. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your... Don't! You walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. If the money ran out, this is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't want to silence him, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you Hey, you want a coffee? Some water? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait! What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No! Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, huh, please, look at me, please. I can't legally tell you to do this, but do it. I know Azerbaijanis, Kyrgyzstanis, Tajikistanis, whatever you want, huh? I'm rude! Please don't hit me! I hope you're not a skier! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Shumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a...
So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There are more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up. No, please. How many vaults do you think they got running through these things? Not the jumpers. My heart. Don't zap me. Don't do it. Not the clip. Whoa, whoa. No. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build? Come on. Average height? Middle age? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. It's gonna be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle no, build, no, whatever. He's dark. Stuff. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. <laughs> that enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor! Show our contestant what he's won today! Oh, okay. oh, I remember, I remember! Woo! You gotta be a sick fuck to wanna be a dentist. I just have them laser! Are they still alive? Oh, oh, oh. 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 Tough SOB, that little guy. Shit! That hurts so hard! Oh, oh. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no you know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informants no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. Get out the scope. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters, we need more. 
It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, 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 he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. <sighs> Nothing to complain about here, pal. This is totally legit. What if you get it wrong? Say this! I will drown! No! I got blood in my mouth! Torturer! A wound! A wound! I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Let up! You might drown! Let's get him upright! Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Wakey! Wakey! I'm still here! <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Wood. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. What? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> Ow, for fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, now you got a flight to catch. Okay, let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're going to get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're going to spread your message. The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. 
tortures for the torturer. Or the guy giving the orders to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Here we be. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family's here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Sitting in traffic, man. The great Los Santos pastime. Now, don't you step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm gonna call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. This loyalty, what is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy, yo. You ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama would turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass shut sister. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Here, darling. Why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is it seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy, the boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stretch thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> come on Who is this man? man, what is this nigga Man, just come on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and stress set up? You buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. And this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh, first rule of business. Hey, 
Since we're out here banging, either you got some dust. Or fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. Homie live up here. Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? You ain't shit. Oh, yeah, I got all the minutes to handle, you know what I'm saying? But shit, but if you free. Hey, you don't even need to worry about it, man. I'll see you later on tonight. Hey, be on point, this fool janky. Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me, give me the, give me the back! Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler. Ah. Come on! I got you six, man. On the floor! On the floor! Damn, M16! 
MC Clip. That's the fastest shoot. MC Clip. Clip. Wait right there, dog. Hold up. Hold up. P. P. And jack they ass, homie. That's our way up out of here. Hands in the air. You being deprived of these vehicles, bitch. You know, it's cold. You clap the clip, man. Jack it, homie.
This is Tanisha Jackson. What's happening, homie? Man, have you spoke to Stretch? I want to know what happened with that thing. Yeah, homie. Stretch was as shocked as us. Really? But he didn't have half of Davis run up on him. Nah, homie, I don't think he was as shocked as us. Stop bugging, homie. You need to take a page out the crazy white man's book. That dude cold. Look, man, keep an eye on stress, dog. I'm serious. I need to speak to you fast. Oh, is that right? Shit, I need to speak to your ass, too. What you taking some crazy white dude around the hood for, huh? Huh? Because that crazy white dude's the only reason why we ain't buy a brick of plastic, motherfucker. He the reason why we still breathing. It looked bad, little homie. Man, I don't give a fuck how it look, big homie. Matter of fact, let me ask your ass something. Why you set us up with a motherfucker that try to run a lick on us and clap us any fucking way? That shit was real to you and your geek friend fucked it up. That's on you, punk. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? 
Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new mollusk, sort of a super mollusk, and it's called Priapoles. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollusks, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm going to make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Leia, sup? You watch that Republican Space Rangers? I love that show! You need a receipt for taxes? <laughs> I can tell we are going to get along famously.
Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh? Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. You don't need it. Got off lucky, homie.
you're spooning me next time. All right. Yeah, all right. Here we go. What have I done to deserve this? That broke your goddamn neck!
before it. I've got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll, well, we... Right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. Oh, great. I look forward to that. Okay, well that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, hmm. It's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. 
You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. You can pull up. Okay there. Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Making a personal injury claim. Hey, buddy. Ah! 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 Ah!
shit. Who just went into an air base and stole a chopper? Are we ready to go on this thing? If it's the heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. annoying. We're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd 
It is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes. One of you shits must be here. Hello, Trevor. I missed you. Hello, Wade. I missed you, too. Uh, hello, Trevor. <laughs> oh, there. Hey, Hot Lips, where you been hiding? No, no, no nowhere. I've... I got a, a knot the size of a baseball in here, all right? Needs a little, uh, loosening up, all right? Oh. <laughs> Massage me, motherfucker! Good, good. Trevor's hard at work, huh? Uh, where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy! With the stars in his eyes. Not like that. What's not like that? Oh, hey! Hey there, uh, You and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent! Fuck. You wanna go? No, I'm good, though. Hey, I, I called you boys here to discuss this job that I've been planning. The fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up, Michael, all right? You owe me. Hey, did you talk to Lester? 
I called him. He's in the hospital or something, all right? We keep him out and we get 20%. Well, unless, of course, you go states again and uh, have me arrested. Hey, it wasn't like that. You better not have been. I mean, like, you give a fuck. Oh, see, I give a fuck, Michael. It's a position, a fucking viewpoint, all right? Like God, like evolution, like anything else. Sunshine, boredom, lies, that's what we got. Other people, they have other worlds, but for me, I'm like a vulture just circling the desert looking for fucking corpses, you know? A carrion-eating motherfucker. Do you understand that? <laughs> wow. Woo! Bravo, you fucking idiot. Man, I still don't get the score. What's the fucking plan? We got Floyd, all right? Now, Floyd's got... Not the... Fuck, get out of here, all right? Now, Floyd here works at the port. He puts me onto Meriwether Security, who were running some tests out at sea for Uncle Sam. We're gonna take whatever it is they're testing. Now, got a couple buyers lined up. I guarantee no problems, no major heat. Mm, let's get going, all right? Let's take our slightly past dead vibe to an airfield where I got a sub, got a chopper, I got everything we need. All right, let's do this, you fucks. Sandy Shores Airfield, bro. Sandy Shores? That's quite a distance. What's with this guy? Man, I didn't realize we was going all the way out there either. Well, I've been told your generation are work shy. Repeatedly, but this is the first time I've seen it for myself. You won't leave the city for the biggest take of your life? Man, it's not like that. Well, what is it like, huh? You think the world owes you a living? You want money and respect, but you won't cross the street to get it. That useless millennial shit is more of a middle class thing. Where I'm from, hustling is still hustling. And going halfway across the state is still, uh, going halfway across the state. Yeah, well, Sandy Shores is the global headquarters for TP Inc., okay? So we gotta make the trip. TP Inc.? Trevor Phillips Industries. My company. Industries or Incorporated? If it's TP Inc., it'd be Trevor Phillips Incorporated. Just saying. You're mocking me! Nice! Is it so strange that I've made a success of my life? I know that wasn't what you wanted for me when you ran off. But still, Trevor, it's a business, Michael, an honest American business, and there aren't many of them left. Hey, you know this airstrip we're going to, we're managing it. Yeah, I hate to think what you did to the last managers. The lost MC LLP experienced an unexpected downturn. We had to step in. The lost motorcycle club. <laughs> yeah, you're a serious businessman, T. I cannot believe this. The hard-working entrepreneur is getting shit from a guy so lazy he retired in his 30s. And then from this other guy whose sense of entitlement is so strong, he asks how far we had to travel when he's offered a job he ain't even qualified to do. This is why the country is screwed. There's not enough me's, there's too many you's. Yeah, a country full of you's. That's just what this world needs. Shit would get done. It would be Darwinian. Hey, look, dude, we helping you out. But if you think you'd be better off on your own... No, 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 hey, look, hey, get... God, all just let's calm down, all right? We have a score to take. There is profit to be made. I mean, don't that beat getting picked up by G-Men and forced to work for free? Yeah, 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 all right. Talk us through exactly what's going on. We're going out to Sandy Shores. I know that part. My guys will meet us there. They'll have the submarine. I'm gonna get into said submarine that... Wait, hold on. You had the flying lessons, right? Ah, flying lessons. Right. You know, I was gonna have them. And then... Oh, you total idiot! Hey, what's the next part of the plane? There's an army chopper at the airfield. You're both getting into it. Michael's flying. 
Gonna take off, pick up the submarine with me in it, and fly it out to a point off the coast. You're gonna drop me into the ocean. I'll pilot the sub down and find the device the government's been testing. I'll get it, surface, you'll fly me back to the airfield. What kind of device? What kind doesn't matter. How much will be paid for it does matter. These are government scientists we're robbing. I said at the condo. The tests are being run by Meriwether Security Consulting. Ah, yes, the mercenaries. Fresh from fighting our secret oil wars. Should be very relaxing. If stealing a prototype like this from the government was relaxing, then everyone would be doing it. As it stands, we've got an opportunity to mint some serious coin. Oh, 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 oh. there's easier ways. I mean, this sounds extreme, T. Hey, hey, here's the sub. Floyd, wait, wait in the hangar. This is our chopper, I guess. Were you too busy shipping mimosas by the pool to take your flying lessons? Connection is good! Okay, I need to be dropped a couple of clicks west of Polito Cove. Trevor, you got your company name sprayed all over this chopper. But, uh, everything else about it says military. Yep, I got it from the military base. And there's all this military hardware in the back. Guns and whatnot. Mm-hmm, if this thing gets hot, they'll come in handy. Hey, I thought it wasn't getting hot. It said no major heat. That you guaranteed it. It's a score, Michael. Even if you don't anticipate heat, you prepare for it. That's the code. That's why I don't take scores. Not anymore. I'm out of the game, man. What am I doing? Oh, really? You don't take scores? No. Not anymore. What say you, Franklin? I say this is a conversation between you two. So, that wasn't you guys then at the Rockford Hills Jewel Store. Hey, that's right around the corner from my house, T. I might have been there buying something for Amanda. I certainly wasn't robbing it. Oh, okay, oh, my mistake, my mistake. It was a, a pretty tight job, though, eh? I mean, the, the planning was there. They went in, right? They got out clean. I mean, there were some problems, but they kept their heads, right? Yeah, yeah, pulled it off. All right, all right. It was us. Of course it was us. Any other clowns would be in Bolingbrook now. Mm, no, there were some weak points. I mean, whoever fed that cheesy line to the parking guy. That guy? Amateur! Yeah, show us how it's done then, T. If you're such Sure will. We're almost at the drop point. I can see some platforms on the water. There might be a testing station. Just going down the coast. These guys better not be involved with our shit. Hold on, I haven't got the Terrakify app up yet. Ah, it's working. I'm picking up a signal. Rocks. 
so far. This looks like it, right there. Bolted to the seafloor. I'm securing it. I have the device. I'm bringing it to the surface. Hey, man, so, uh, got the thing. What is it? We'll know what it is when we can run some tests. Well, what it look like? What you think it is? Uh, best guess it was hooked into the rock, maybe on a fault line, so... Could be a seismic suppressor to combat earthquakes and tsunamis, or, no, potentially it's like a fusion reactor running on seawater. Like nuclear? Yeah, the good kind of nuclear. And is this what your bar was after? Yeah, oh well, for sure. No, we'll be paid, Frankie. We will be well paid.
here is going fucking crazy! Oh, and good to see you, too! <clears throat> What's it been? Not ten years? After this, the government won't care how long it's been. They're gonna put you and everyone you ever knew on their kill list. And you! I thought you would be smarter than this. What'd I do? Stealing a super weapon to sell to the Chinese! Damn, T! This some nuke or some shit? I thought you said you spoke to him. Yeah, I did! Okay? Kind of. I mean, he was all woozy and shit. It doesn't matter, all right? It's done. We've got it. Well, we could put it back. You drop it in the sea by the time they get a salvage operation together. No! Oh, so you want a drone circling your trailer? We'll get you another score, Trevor. You owe me! Wait, get in that chopper! Listen to whatever this fucking moron has to say. Okay! All right, and on that note, I'm out of here. You won't be seeing me back here in a long time. Hey! We need a score! Remember! Man, I thought I was done not getting paid for these licks. Hello! Me too!